Hey everyone, it's Natalie, also known as Nitty Natty. Today I have the pleasure of taking you along with me as we visit four local shops here in New York City. So we just moved to New York City from Texas and I am so excited to explore all of the local shops. There are a ton here in Manhattan where we live. There's also a lot out in Brooklyn, which is where I'm going to take you today. So when the day started, <laughs> when this video started, I had just intended to go to one shop. That first shop that we walked in, they asked, are you here for the yarn crawl? And I looked at my husband, Kent, and I was like, well, we didn't come for the yarn crawl, but what's the yarn crawl? And we learned that there is a Brooklyn yarn crawl happening over the days that we just happened to be going and it ended, it was gonna end like a few days out. So we're like, well, we need to go to the yarn stores. And there was four shops on the list. They all seemed wonderful and they were all shops that I wanted to visit. So impromptu, our day kind of <laughs> took a turn and we went to a few of these local yarn shops. So without further ado, let's go ahead and head to the first shop. You say all the right things when I'm hurting. You always pick me up when I am down. It's like you have a spark that leaves me burning You just have your ways to get me high You make all my dreams come true It feels right When I'm around you We can wake up and then make up I always come back to you You move me in a way never thought anyone could you Woolen in Brooklyn, we took, uh, we walked, we took a bus and then we got on the subway <laughs> and we took the subway to Brooklyn and then I think we got on another bus. Yeah, I think we got on another bus um, and then we got there. It didn't take us very long, only about 40 minutes to get there. So definitely like a really easy uh, trip for me because I get to knit most of the way there. I was working on a sock. So that doesn't bother me at all. I can't wait to go back there when they're having more events. It was a cute shop, pretty big, uh, pretty big shop. Uh, lots of great choices for me because I love fingering wet yarn. They had lots of great choices. They had a couple different trunk shows going on and a ton of stuff from local dyers. They even had a little like New York sticker next to all the things that were from dyers from New York. That's always what I'm looking for when I go to different shops is something unique that I can't get somewhere else or, you know, it's hard these days because everything can be purchased online just about, but I love when I go into a shop and they have something really special. So let me show you <laughs> what I ended up getting. I have my bag down here. I've been taking this tote around with me for all kinds of different errands and it was perfect today for the yarn crawl. I got it at Bliss Yarns in Brentwood, Tennessee when I was there last. So I, I was excited. <laughs> I went to Woolen specifically to get um, 
some yarn for my summer sorrel sweater, which if you have watched the vlog before this, you're gonna have already seen me wind and cast on that sweater. So these are not gonna be come as a surprise to you. Um, but this is what I ended up getting today. I got these three yarns to fade um, and make a short sleeve top called the Summer Sorrel. I'm so excited. It's gonna be beautiful. Can't help me pick these out. I was really drawn to this color at first. I'll tell you about the yarn. It is from Yarn Over New York, which is a, a New York dyer. This is the Times Square Base 75 percent superwash merino and 25 percent nylon and it looks like this color is called loyal the font is a little hard to read um because it's like a cute little edgy font but i think it says loyal so at first i was really drawn to this one and i thought i might just get three of these to make the sweater but i really was also loving this color it's kind of similar to the socks that i'm working on actually this one is called i'm a barbie girl um, this is so me. I love this color. And then the purple was really great too. This one is called Bubblegum Dance. All of these are from Yarn Over New York, which I had never seen before. And so I believe this is going to be the order that I knit them in. Um, I don't know. I'll have to decide. I'll probably have it cast on and everything before, before this video comes out, but I think this will be the order. I was going to shop specifically for this. And when I looked at pictures online, I thought Woolen looks like a great place. Um, I wanna go there and success, <laughs> success, more than more than uh, I bargained for finding out the yarn crawl. Um, I also stumbled upon, uh, they had a another one from Yarn Over New York that was their shop color. This is, this is called Greetings from Gowanus, I think is how you say it. And I don't know if that's the neighborhood or the street. I'll have to look that up and see why it's called that. But I love this color. And again, anything unique that is like you can't get somewhere else or is unique to that shop or is the shop's color, that is what I am drawn to, uh, towards and what I want to get. So now I have a little bit of, of stuff added to my stash and we went to more yarn stores. So I, I stashed up a little bit, but at least the three skeins I'm going to be casting on here soon. There was also a really cute uh, yarn gauge for the crawl. I love these wooden yarn gauges. Um, they're so beautiful and they're a great thing to collect when you go to different shops. All of the shops that are participating are here on the back, all four that we went to. Um, they're not as practical, I think, as like the plastic ones. Plus, what do you do with all these different yarn gauges? But like, I can't resist them, especially when there's something special like the yarn crawl. So I had to grab it and maybe I'll like decorate with mine someday because I have quite a few of them. The last thing that I got um, at Woolen, Woolen? Maybe it's just Woolen. I might be saying that in a funny way. These were at the register, these little stitch markers, and they caught my eye. There are little clay stitch markers. You can tell that they're like handmade. They're super, super cute. I was kind of looking at unicorns and sheep and different stuff. And then the shop, um, the person that was working at the shop, I'm not sure if they were the owner or not. I, did, I actually didn't ask them. I should have asked them. Um, but they pointed out that these were the New York stitch markers. So on here, there's a slice of pizza, of course. Um, there is a squirrel, a rat, and a pigeon. And the pigeon is iridescent. Wait, hold on. I can barely, I should have gotten them separated, but they're so, so cute. I'll have to take a picture and put it on my Instagram. I got a second set that I am going to hang on to because they are so cute and unique. I think I'm going to hold on to them for a giveaway, a special giveaway when I get to 10,000 subscribers. So I'm kind of starting to collect stuff for that because I want to have really amazing and unique things. So that's what I got from the only intended yarn store <laughs> that we plan to go to. But as you know, we went on the crawl. So let's go to the next shop. Get you. 
left town But there's something about you Something about you I like About you I like I get too drunk and too scared and lie to you If only you knew I would die for you One of us, one of us gotta say Brooklyn General Store was just as beautiful as I expected. It was kind of a narrow, long shop and just had the prettiest like dark wood shelves that were just full with yarn, but not like in a busy or overstimulating way, just like a really pretty way. It was such a great store. I know that whenever I need to make something like get a sweater's quantity and something like woolly and neutral, that's the shop that I'm going to go to for those kinds of things. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Tons of selection. It was like I could have spent all day looking, <laughs> looking in there. The fun thing that happened while we were there, um, there was one person working at the counter. Her name was Carlene. She was super, super nice. And then another person walked into the shop and they were kind of like looking at stuff at the front. And then um, we started talking and I said, she asked me, this other person asked me, are you crawling? You know, are you on the yarn crawl? I'm like, oh yeah, are, are you on the yarn crawl? She was like, no, I actually own, own the store. And I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> I had no idea. It was so funny. Um, so I got to meet Catherine, the shop owner, and she was incredibly kind as well. So it was so fun to get to meet several people that worked at the shop. And for me, like local yarn store, it's all about the relationship. Like we have a choice as consumers nowadays, modern consumers, we could buy everything online. You could net, you could just not go to the yarn store anymore. Um, I, don't advocate for that at all because I love going to the yarn store and seeing stuff in person and getting to meet with people. It's hard right now during this time. You can't really, it's not the same as it used to be. There's not like knit togethers and stuff, but moving to a new city, that's something that I knew would kind of ground me and help me kind of get established and meet new people is going to the local yarn stores. It's my more than my hobby. It's what I love to do. And um, it was just cool to actually get to meet um, so many different people today from the yarn stores. I loved it. So I had to get a few things at the Brooklyn General Store. Um, resisted getting more than a few things. The first thing I got was this t-shirt. They had a ton of cute colors. What does it say here? Love is in the making. <laughs> Brooklyn, New York. I thought this was a really fun color because I don't have any knitting t-shirt. I don't have any t-shirts that are this color. Uh, there was also like a tangerine that caught my eye and I think Kent wanted me to get the tangerine, but I played it safer with the blue. I was definitely in a blue mood because I also got this yarn. Look, it's DK weight. <laughs> I know it's so funny for me. So the reason that this really caught my eye, there was four skeins of this just sitting and I thought it was a beautiful color. And then I turned it over and this is when it hooked me. It said exclusive colorway. So I asked, uh, I asked Car Carlene, I think that was her name. Now I'm second guessing myself, but I asked her, is this your store colorway? And she said, yes. So it was exclusive to the store. So of course I had to grab it. Now I plan to make, um, a DK weight, I think I'm gonna make a DK weight like a uh, infinity scarf with this. I've made the, uh, what is it called? Honey cow? Uh, honey cow, I actually was just wearing it today cause it's pretty cold. It's um, below 50 degrees today and very windy. So I was wearing my honey cow and it takes two skeins of DK weight yarn. And since I wear it so much, I thought it would be great to have another one. And so I think that's what this is gonna be later down the line, I'm not casting on a winter project right now in April, but I think it's super, super beautiful. And again, only four skeins were left. I was like, well, I have to get the special shop colorway. The yarn is from Stitch Together Studio, which I've heard of, but never seen in person. So that was another new, like new for me, 
first time I'm gonna get to work with it. So I was really excited about that. All right, you guys, let's go on to the next shop. You're gonna see that this is on a different day and an outfit change. So Argyle was another amazing shop in Brooklyn. The two yarn stores we went to on this day, it was a different day, um, were kind of like on the other side. The other two, the first two that we went to were super close to each other. I mean, it was just such a fun weekend. We did those on Friday. It's been a couple days <laughs> since then, but I'm like, I've got to sit down and tell the story while I still remember. Actually, I put on my uh, Brooklyn General uh, shirt that I got at the second yarn shop and I already love it, it's super cute, and I love, love, love the blue. So Argyle Yarn Shop was, it was just like an, a smaller space, but they had a lot of really awesome stuff. What was super impressive is they had a ton of hedgehog yarns, um, which if you have heard of hedgehog, you know that they are just like incredible and they're well known for their colors and they just had the brightest colors. They had fingering weight, they had single ply, they had mohair. They actually had two colors that were, I, I, I couldn't tell, I don't think they were dyed specifically for the shop, but they were like, special colors that only they had because they weren't what i mean is they weren't like related to the shop and as far as name and color but they were special for them and they were really beautiful i actually almost bought that um and then i also saw some uh new york uh new york city yarn um that was also mohair that was kind of calling my name um and i don't know why mohair is just like I love it. <laughs> um, but I ended up actually with something from a completely different country. So this is what I ended up getting at, uh, at Argyle Yarn Shop. I never heard of this yarn before. It is Trey Liz and she is, I think she's in France. I think she's in Greece actually, but she's French or something like that. I tried to look it up. I just started following her on Instagram because she had incredible, like look at her, how bright her label is. Her yarns were like super bright, beautiful, colorful, so much fun. But I ended up with these. Um, I really liked this one. I think it's just so different. Like it still has hot pink in there. So you know, I love some hot pink, some bright pink, but it also has like soft pink, greens and yellow, gold. It's like, it's super pretty. And so can't help me pair it with this pink, which is another pink color that I just love. This one is called uh, well, I think it's called Beautiful Liar. Yeah, this one is called Beautiful Liar. This one is called I'm a Grenade. <laughs> and the base, I guess, is called Zeus. So there you go. There's some like um, inspiration for you. I love that. I think what I'm going to do with these is um, make a brioche cowl. There's one. I don't see like flashing light. There's a, um, oh yeah, what is that? 
that happens every once in a while. We're, we're still not really sure what that is. Um, it's even more noticeable at nighttime, of course. There is a cowl that I adapted um, to, it's just a simple two color brioche cowl. And I think it's like the perfect thing to make if you're a new brioche knitter. So my plan is to like work on that and like maybe write it up as a pattern for the fall. But I think that those colors will look really, really good in the brioche. And then I got one more thing. This is actually gonna be for a giveaway um, when uh, I'm trying to build up stuff for my uh, giveaway when I hit 10,000 subscribers. It's gonna be coming sometime in the future. So I'm already just kind of, you know, collecting things, keeping that in mind. Um, this is the coolest thing ever. It's from Coco Knits. I actually saw this in several of the shops and maybe I saw it, I can't remember if I saw it in the first three shops or just the second shop. But once I saw it the second time, uh, I was like, okay, I have to get it. I mean, I don't necessarily need it, but it's the coolest thing ever. So it is a needle gauge, but it's like a compact one and it's, it's magnetic. And what you do is you like isolate the size that you need. This one is a US six, four, four millimeter. It says right on there in pretty small font, but you can see it. And that's the needle gauge right there, that hole. I just think it's so cute. It's so clever. So yeah, you can just like slide it, uh, slide it and that's your needle gauge. So if you're like, I'm obsessed, I need one, go get one from Coco Knits or better yet, your local shop if they sell them. Um, but if you don't have access and you might wanna win it, stick around when I hit 10K, it's gonna be in that giveaway. I thought that was super, super cool. So I loved Argyle, definitely had a huge selection of yarn, especially that hedgehog and this tray list stuff. Like I would go back and get more it's so pretty. I love it. I've never seen it before and I didn't see it at any of the other shops. So that was another really good one. Like already three yarn stores that are awesome that I know I have to go back to. So I'm in trouble. <laughs> but without further ado, let's go to the last shop. I want to be daring, baby, dance the night away. I let my head down if I want. Don't you just get tired chasing fame and being pretty all the time? Doesn't sound like fun. You can do better. Let me show you what a good time looks like. You can do better. So much better. If I want Let yourself be free And maybe you will find That there is more to life Than being pretty Honey, let's just face it You can do better Let me show you what A good time looks like You can do better So much better I am so happy we went to String Things Studio. String Things Studio. I knew I was gonna have a hard time with that. So it is like right between like a restaurant and like a door that you can tell is like goes up to apartments. It's very narrow, like the storefront is very narrow. It's kind of like what you might imagine when you think of a New York City yarn shop. Small, right? but then you go inside and it is not small. It is the coolest place. So the shop itself is like a long, narrow shop. Yarn all over the walls, but not messy. You know, that's very important. I think having things like nice and organized. There was a wall that caught my eye right away with again, mohair. I, I just, I love it. Finally did get some, by the way. <laughs> mohair and single ply and stuff they had for trunk shows and then uh, more yarn. They had this bright orange yarn. Um, and I was talking to one of the women that worked there, uh, one of the people that worked there, and 
I was like, that looks like Gigi from Gigi Made It. And she's like, it is. <laughs> Madeline Tosh makes this for Gigi. So it was pretty cool. Um, and I didn't get any of it, but I actually really did like that orange. Um, and then further back, they had like a big counter. And then I was like, what is in the back? And, um, oh, that's when I met, uh, the owner, the shop owner, Felicia. She was super, super nice. Um, talking to everybody. You could just tell, you know, you can just tell it's like community vibes. Like that's how it felt. Um, but then I saw this door leading off to the back to the outside. I'm like, what is that? And they have a huge outdoor space in the back where you can go and sit and knit, and hang out outside. And because it's outside, you can go hang out right now, which is even better. There were some people back there um, working on projects. I, I didn't actually see if they were knitting or crocheting because I was kind of like, Kent and I were trying to get some video and stuff like that. Um, but you know, you could just tell it was like, people felt comfortable there. They loved going there. Um, so I really want to go back there and hang out outside and knit and squish some more of the beautiful yarn. So the first thing that I got there is actually a uh, kit picked it out. So this is from, uh, you know what? Actually, I'm not sure. I, I don't know who died. I don't know if this is the company botanical yarn or the base, but it says string thing studio on it. So, you know, it's a store exclusive, which is always going to catch my eye. This is not a color that I would normally gravitate towards because, uh, red is not my color, red and blue together. It's just not me and that's fine. But Kent really, really liked this color. It's a self-striping yarn and you can use it for socks or whatever. I'm actually gonna make Kent a hat. I think that's what we talked about. I'm gonna make him a hat and he said it would be perfect for him to wear to uh, Rangers games here, a uh, hockey team. Um, and also it's red and blue, so it's good for SMU, which is his college al alma mater. Uh, you're not as likely to need a hat in Texas in the fall, but a hat to go to a hockey game, especially in the winter. I think that'll be great. So I was just excited that Kent was excited about the yarn because he's such a good yarn husband for lack of a better word. He's a good husband in general, but like he's really supportive of me knitting in general, making knitting a career, like making vlogs with me, coming around, helping me do stuff. Um, he came to all the yarn shops with me. Actually, when we um, first found out that it was a yarn crawl, when we went to the first shop, I like looked at him and he was like, that's what we're doing. <laughs> we're going to all the, all the shops. It's like he just knew. And um, thank goodness for him because I, I don't think I would have the courage, honestly. Um, going into a yarn shop, not a problem for me navigating around to get to all the yarn shops even when we did them in texas driving around and coordinating all that that is just so not my my specialty <laughs> my forte in any way i'm extremely directionally challenged i find it stressful to drive um places that i've never been before which thank goodness we don't drive here in new york city i find it a little easier when i'm walking somewhere because if i make a mistake it's much easier to just like turn around <laughs> um but taking public public transportation is a little bit stressful and so thank goodness for kent because he's the one who got us around to all those yarn stores which is super great so i'm really happy that he found something that he liked and i am like overjoyed to get to make him something that he's excited about so we'll work on that what kind of hat i'm gonna do i could definitely do a musselberg but i might do no i don't want to do ribbing in a striping yarn well, we'll swatch it up for him and see see what he thinks. Um, but that's not a rush because we don't need hats right now. The other thing, I got something for myself. Um, this was one of the trunk shows. It's called, the brand is called The Wondering Flock. I believe, yes, Brooklyn, New York, which is super cool. When it's not just like New York City or just like the state, it's like actually the place where you are. <laughs> super cool. Um, so I love that. Uh, and then I got two skeins to use together finally got myself some mohair before i picked out this one i actually had a really bright color in my hand and i was looking at like a colorful mohair as well but then i kind of got knit fluenced by my insider membership a lot of them right now are making the rocket tea by tannis gray is her last name gray i know she's um now i can't remember tannis fiber arts 
her name is Tannis. Anyway, I can link the pattern, the rocket tee. And it is a uh, short sleeve top and you alternate uh, fingering weight and mohair. Or at least I hope you do. I didn't actually check. <laughs> Well, anyway, these can be used together even if that's not true, but I really liked this colorway. It is called Birthday Ice Cream. That kind of sold me on it, but it's just got like the most subtle uh, colors in there of the blue and the pink. It kind of looks like cotton candy and then deeper blue purple for the speckles. So cute. And then I thought this would look really nice with it to kind of um, bring a little life to it because with a, a very like light base i wanted to do a little something more and this color is just teal so at some point i just started a new t-shirt i'll be making that one as well all right guys that was all four of the yarn shops on the brooklyn yarn crawl i hope you enjoyed coming along with us and i hope you enjoyed this style video because i have so much more to show you as far as yarn stores in new york city and beyond. So let me know if you liked it. Let me know what you want to see like the next time we go to a yarn store, if there's anything that we missed showing you. Um, one thing I would like to add is stuff that we're going to around it. Cause I forgot to talk about, we went to a, um, a bakery cause we were getting like hungry. We'd been out for a long time. And so we just got like a little pick me up treat uh, called Butterly Bakery, I think. I have a picture of the cookie that I can put in here. Um, but yeah, stuff like that, showing the neighborhood stuff around it, because my hope is that when you come visit my new city, you will get to go around and see some of the places that maybe I went to and you thought, wow, that's really interesting. I want to go there too, what to do around it and all of that. So I'm excited to just share more with you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again in the next one. Bye.